Well, hello, hello. So let's assume because it's Friday, you're having a late lunch and that's why I'm late, okay? <laughs> Today, I'm telling you all since 4th of July has seemed like I've had a perpetual Mondays, right? Who am I? I'm Pastor Garlinda Price with Common Ground Ministry. Shout out to my honey bunny, Pastor Marvin Price Jr. So I wanted to share with you really quickly before my brother-in-law and sister get here, my brother-in-love, I really should say, before we um, get to what, what we have to do, I want to share with you something about Marketplace Ministry, right? What exactly is Marketplace Ministry? Hey, Sharon. Hey, Glenn. And why has God called you or has he called you to Marketplace Ministry? And what does that really mean? Hey, Michael. So I just wanted to share with you right quick. Um, just my perspective on what, why God has me focused on marketplace ministry as my ministry and a part of what he would have me to share with fellow business owners. Hey, Regina and, um, Sharon, you're so sweet. Caleb's going today. You'll know what I'm talking about. And so, um, just, I'm um, coming from my book. Of course, you all that have purchased the books, thank you so much. And that participated in the 50% off sale. If you want my books, you can get them at www.garlandaprice.com. But let's get to the point. Okay. Hey, Sharvi. So marketplace ministry, and I'm reading from the book, just what God would have me to share with you on this gorgeous Friday, right? Often I hear people say that God doesn't want us to operate businesses within the church or within the ministry, right? I mean, maybe you've heard people say that. Maybe you fought that. Like, God, I know you called me to business, but I'm also a minister. How do I combine the two and be within your will, right? So, well, let's be clear. God's house is to be a, a house of prayer. Jesus says that in Matthew 21, 13. My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you make it a den of robbers. So I'm certainly not talking about setting up, selling your wares and, our, and operating our businesses in the sanctuary and i'm certainly not talking about selling across the pulpit okay that's not what i mean by marketplace ministry i mean out in the marketplace as we live our daily lives out at the store out in our communities out and about not in within the four walls okay hey kenya so here it is it is totally inappropriate to attempt to market and sell products within god's sanctuary but that's common sense right however god has given us the ability to get wealth his word says that i've given you the ability to get wealth and as we mentioned earlier, he honors work and especially hard work, right? Hey, Recup. And so a lot of times, yeah, we've heard it. So I don't even want to try to church it up. People say that, um, you know, you can do name it, claim it ministry, you know, money coming to the body of Christ. And I'm not saying that I don't believe in affirmations. I'm not saying that I don't believe in miracles. I believe in both. But what I also believe is that God ordained work. He worked six days. He rested on the seventh. He told Adam and Eve that they would work, right? And we are descendants of Adam and Eve, right? We have to work. There's no, there's no being successful without work. Thessalonians says, if you don't work, you don't eat. So I just want to share with you that marketplace, the marketplace the ministry that God has called you to, marketing a business a ministry leadership whatever it is goes it all co coincides and goes hand in hand so in second thessalonians 3 7b 13 y'all as i've been reading my book i noticed some typos so y'all forgive me we were not idle when we were with you nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it on the contrary we worked night and day laboring and toiling so that we would not be a burden to any of you we did this not because we do not have the right to such help to make us but to make ourselves a model for you to follow for even when we were with you we gave you this rule if a man will not work he shall not eat and so God has called us in our businesses to work there's no way there's no way to be doing what God has called you to do and think that there's no work involved in it so my brother-in-law and sister are pulling up so I'm going to share one more thing with you so what does hard work mean or what does it mean to work hard it is defined as a great deal of effort or endurance toil is the to toil is defined as working extremely hard or incessantly slave away grind away exhausting physical labor blood sweat and tears the apostle paul set the standard here that we're not to become a burden to anyone or expect to eat for free although by his calling he could realistically expect to be shown favorite treatment however instead he modeled the behavior he expected and wanted to see from his followers so we have to be the example in the earth realm that in order to have wealth we have to work right and in order to have to be ministers in the marketplace we have to combine our love of god with the business with the business that god has called us to clearly we understand by god's word that although we may possibly have the right to depend on ministry for food and support would not to be a burden. What should we do instead? Marketplace ministry is not a new concept, yet it's a newer, more modern concept that marries businesses owned by Christian men and women within the marketplace, the unchurched, the, as a way 
to connect with the unchurched, the unsaved, and as a way of using our businesses to reach the masses through those services. So that's what Marketplace Ministry is. It's businesses, hi. Okay, so Teresa's is waving to me. So it's a way for businesses to reach the masses through services, philanthropy, charity, gifts, healing ministries. We cannot reach the people we so desire to help without finances and resources of which God is our unlimited supply. So it is important. Those are the reasons that God has called us to marketplace ministry because they are people that we are going to reach, right? That we would not have a way to reach. We would not have the opportunity to reach. We would not have the opportunity to church. Hold on a second. We would not have the opportunity to get to if we didn't combine our ministry with that which what God has called us to do. So on today, if you find yourself struggling with your calling, right? If you find yourself struggling with your ministry, ask God, God, who, who do you want me to reach, right? And how can I use my business effectively to reach the unchurched? How can I use my business effectively to reach the unsaved? How can I use my business effectively, right? to do that what you call me to do so there's a room and a reason and a place for you in marketplace ministry and so i encourage you pray and ask god so that we can reach the masses for his kingdom your business can be wildly successful because he's given you the ability to get well but he gave it to you for a reason that we might expand the kingdom of god through our resources and our finances okay i love you god bless you and i'll talk to you soon i'm pastor garlanda price with common ground ministry and again my website if you want to head over there and just check me out is garlandaprice.com okay bye